March, U.S. Capitol Police leaders admit that it took a total of 12 minutes to stop a congressional employee who walked into the Longworth House office building yesterday morning with a handgun. WSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca is here to examine the timeline of this security breach. Hey there, Nathan. Well, Charlotte, U.S. Capitol Police say Jeffrey Allsbrooks is a staffer with the House Chief Administrative Office, which provides business support services to members of Congress and their staffs. Now, he told police he forgot he had a gun in his bag, but court records show Allsbrooks entered no plea and was released from jail until a court appearance in February. Here's the timeline of what happened Thursday, according to U.S. Capitol Police. At 7.43 in the morning, Allsbrooks entered the Longworth House office building. Police allowed Allsbrooks to walk away with this bag after going through security, but four minutes later when reviewing scanner pictures at 7.47, security put the Longworth building on lockdown. After an additional eight minutes at 7.55, U.S. Capitol Police officers located Allsbrooks with this bag. After questioning, Allsbrooks was arrested at 8.27. According to police, he faces these charges. Possession of an unregistered firearm. Unlawful possession of a firearm. Police say Allsbrooks is licensed in Virginia, not D.C. Possession of unregistered ammunition. And possession of a large capacity ammunition feeding device. Police say his Glock 19 handgun had a 15-round magazine. Now, U.S. Capitol Police had no further comment today. Now, I've been asking security experts how it could take four minutes for an officer to spot a gun in an X-ray image. Now, one with Capitol Hill experience tells me it should be quicker than four minutes, but without knowing the foot traffic and bag backup, it's uh, hard to make a call. Sharla? It seems like it should be a lot quicker than four minutes. All right. Thanks so much, Nathan.